For a certain type of gamer, sprawling open worlds cry out for one thing, survival systems. Survival fans crave the chance to not just explore and conquer, but really feel like they inhabit the world of the game. And nothing accomplishes that like having to take care of certain needs for your character. Hunger, thirst, heat and cold, disease, extensive resource management, and crafting systems. Those systems are coming to the biggest open world game in recent memory, Elden Ring, courtesy of Dark Souls modder Grimrock. You may know his name from the excellent Dark Souls Nightfall and Dark Souls Daughter of Ash mods. Grimrock recently released Elden Ring Survival Mode on Twitter, providing a link to Nexus mods if you want to try it out. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition. In this mod, there are nearly 400 new weapon recipes. For example, here you can see some new weapon crafting options like using a metal plate and metal shards to create a dagger, plus a smith's hammer that can be used for weapon upgrades, like turning your dagger into a short sword and then a long sword. Disease plays a big part in this mod too, and we love the idea of these diseases being region specific, such as the Plague of Limgrav shown here, which accelerates the effect of thirst and hunger. Cures for disease can be crafted, and your character will be able to build up a resistance to the various illnesses added by this mod. Diseases cured are less likely to be caught a second time, and a second cure will bestow full immunity. We think that is a great feature, and means that while you may struggle with diseases early on, you won't get sick of getting sick. Creatures can be hunted for meat to be cooked and consumed. As seen here, a hunk of meat from a deer can be combined with a smouldering butterfly for a seared steak, and areas of the world with low temperatures can be combated by consuming hot soups. Just be careful with all the extra time you'll be spending in the menus cooking and crafting. There's no pausing in Elden Ring, so while you're whipping up dinner, you might get stabbed in the back. That is unless survival mode is compatible with this mod, but we have yet to find this out for ourselves. And as odd as it sounds, considering the land between is home to an enormous glowing tree, nights will be made much, much darker. I'm not the kind of person who likes extreme darkness in games, I prefer to see as much and as far as possible, thank you very much, but I know a lot of survival fans out there love pitch black nights. According to Grimrock, the mod is configurable and gives players lots of options, depending on which features they want to enable. If you love Dark Knights but hate hunger and fur systems, you'll be able to pick and choose. As mentioned at the start, you can find this mod on nexusmods.com if you were looking for an excuse for a second, or third or fourth, playthrough of Elden Ring and for some reason wanted to make the whole ordeal much, much harder for yourself, this mod looks like the perfect ticket. Good luck, Tarnished. You're gonna need it. Put these foolish ambitions to rest. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite Elden Ring mods are. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to PC Gamer here on YouTube for all the latest PC gaming news, reviews, and guides. Thank you for watching. Torrent has chosen you.